Hello everybody, and welcome back to Preambles and Rambles for Dark Eye Part 2 the terrifying game that gave me nightmares for a week afterwards <laughs> I know, that's why we've had to wait so long in between episodes Yeah, had to make sure my underwear was clean went through about five pairs <laughs> This one's going to get worse by the way Ah, oh, God's sake See, I'd never heard of this game before not at all. Uh, I shall en endeavour to uh, scour the interwebs for uh, games that you've never heard of to scare the living shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plus side, look what we got today. Ah, oh, Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Awesome. So should we crack that out at some point? Sweet. So, continuing on. So how many stories do we have left? Uh... Technically, there is only three stories that you play through. Yeah. There are several other hidden in the game. I did one last episode, which was the Mask of the Red Death. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, which is the one you see down the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got three main scenarios to go through from the uh, victimizer's uh, perspective. Um, and. Then there's one more uh, written story, um, uh, but this one isn't quite as long. Yeah. So I, I, did, this I have to wait to do that one until after this one, I think, because you can only unlock it at a certain point in the game. Ah, I see. So this is the episode and of look, For no reason. Dramatic. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so spooky of the stuff we've already done. Revenge means nothing, unless the Avenger makes himself known to his victim. That's good advice. <laughs> no one will ever know it's me. <laughs> of course, when one takes revenge, one wants to take it slowly. One wants Never to really revenge. understood those masquerade ball Everly. type things. I always wanted to have one. Well, born in the wrong era. But they do a masked ball in... Right, you ready? It's your favourite person. Ah, uh, weird gacky eye. Punish, but punish with impunity. It is a poor vengeance that also harms the Revenger. He is actually just gnawing on a bone as well. What the... It, he must be insanely inbred. Sir? Return to the and villa. Alfred. Tell the liberty that I shall be out all night. They are forbidden to leave the house. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Oh, I thought he had hair. He doesn't have hair. He's got a flat head. Mm, that will ensure their immediate disappearance, now that my back is turned. Good point. Versa can do not. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Oh. I'm attendant upon Signora Fortunato. She's searching really? for you her look husband. Exactly like my Have you father. seen him? <laughs> oh, I'm certain. I saw him some, some streets from here. Get a bit lazy. Over on the other side of the square, engaged in a business you, discussion. Master, Bruce. Thank you, sir. I've always loved you. <laughs> loved you since you were a boy. It's National Poetry Day today. Isn't that actually like apt? Because there is quite a lot of poetry in this game. Yeah. But there you go. It was completely done by accident, but fuck it. I'll there take, we go. I'll take the credit for it anyway. This is National Boy, Poetry Day special. Injuries. Yeah. But now he has ventured upon insult. Oh, what is that? That. Oh yeah, we didn't really get to see his face, did we? Because no. we were doing it from the upper perspective. Yeah, that was the guy we were playing as last time. Got it. We. Well. Bricked into a wall. I've got bricked into a wall. Good, that creature should be bricked into a wall. Yep, that's why we do it. Dig, save the world from his face. Just for you. Oh. <laughs> I hate that cunt. I'm sorry, I don't use that word often. Well, yeah, I do. But she's a. Oh. Who's that? No one, and her. Senora. You know what? I hate no everyone. At all. On this game. He shall be slaughtered. 
Oh, our guy's pretty harmless, you know, apart from the odd sniffing oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Who's that Nick Griffin's place? trending on Quite Twitter. So. <laughs> Fortunato. What a surprise. <laughs> Nick Griffin's been expelled from the BMP. <laughs> My dear Fortunato, well, he wasn't quite racist I wonder enough. if you could help yep. me. <laughs> Probably. A small cask of what uh, passes for a Montillado. But I have my doubts. A Montillado? But I have my doubts. <laughs> That's quite funny. Now he's lost his day job, maybe Nick Griffin uh, should devote himself to his cookery show ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> a cask, Montresor. And in the middle of carnival. Impossible. I have my doubts. I was foolish enough to pay full price without consulting Fortunato in the matter. Oh yeah, it's going to be a taken free. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw a hilarious quote about that, about how many more times... Lucas, uh, has a discerning palate. Perhaps he could take a Liam Neeson's character's going to let his family get taken. Yeah, he's, he's a bit shit with that, isn't he? Very loud airplane going there. Bastard, it's Luftwaffe again. Oh, he's so disturbing. No. Everyone in this game. <laughs> Let's go. Where? To your vaults. But surely your wife is looking for you. She'll see me soon enough. Let us go. Yeah, alcoholic needs his booze. <laughs> <laughs> He's a drinker. It's, it's going dangerous at this hour. We will soon arrive at the safety of my villa. San Andreas. My friend, this is madness. That house looks oddly Spanish. Yeah, this windows look so uh, You are afflicted excited. with a severe cold. <laughs> the vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us return. I'll consult Lucchese. The cold is nothing. Lucchese is an ignoramus. Ignoramus. It's a great word. It is an amazing <laughs> word. <coughs> this way. Thing about ignoramus is if you know someone truly is an ignoramus, they make you know what they're saying when you want it to them. <laughs> Beauty of the word. Oh, let's get him shit faced. <laughs> Drink it, you bitch. Enjoy, it will still the cough. Definitely roofied it. <laughs> hey, what I do in the uh, privateers of my own revolt is <laughs> up to me. You'd be stupid enough to come down here now, you know. <laughs> and now I can't get the date rape song out of my head. <laughs> Dear God, you know, just keep it to yourself. And now he takes it in the behind. Date rape! <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, Ruby Fish. <laughs> I did a song. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought the animation was kind of cool. <laughs> so he just stood there and watched him for a while. <laughs> kind of wondering if he was going to fall over, actually. did pretty well because it's like several sprites yeah with different movements and actually done it fairly well into a motion hmm. obviously if you stand here for like two minutes and just stare at him you're gonna notice things yeah 
don't think I'd been drinking. <laughs> not like the last time. But let's not rule it out. You're giving a good impression on yourself. Maybe I was texting you. Maybe. This way. It might have been that. Quite likely. Or maybe it started off with me texting somebody and then I started to watch the animation. <laughs> More. Okay. Enjoy. They're totally it forty. Still, the car. If you look at the bottle, it's the same design as a forty bottle, a forty ounce. Wow. Along oh. here. My guy's got taste. Malt liquor. Which is pretty much just beer. I think. Come along. Careful through here. This is why we get him drunk, because otherwise any sane Revenge. person would be like... Like, why the fucking hell are we going so far down just for a bottle of wine? Yeah. It's the good wine. Therein lies the Amontillado. The Amontillado. Go on, fatty. Get in the hole. Get in there, Porkins. Uh, this is the bit I was telling you about. You just stay there, okay? Don't move. Oh no! It is very damp here. One last time, let me implore you to return. No? Then I must leave you. But first... Building a wall. I am building a wall. And welcome to Bricky Simulator. I saw something online about them making a Tetris movie. Please tell me that's wrong. What? Y yeah. How? Don't know. <laughs> See, Space Invaders, maybe. Asteroids, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Batman, definitely yeah, do it. Yeah. But Tetris? <laughs> no. Batman cartoon. Do you remember? Oh yes, I do. Yeah. Do you remember the uh, 3D Pac-Man game for the PS1? Pac-Man World? I can't remember. There was one on the uh, PS2 as well. Uh, it might be even been the sequel. But I played the absolute crap out of that game. Actually managed to complete it when I was like the age of five, which is a big feat. Really? Let's By yourself. When you're five. Yes. Yeah. Let us be gone. Up to that point, the only other game I completed was like Halo. Again, still an impressive feat. For the, love of God. the last mission is hard. Oh, yeah. Still is hard. Yes. For the love of God. Fortunato. Fortunato. Fuck you! <laughs> now let's just hope he doesn't get at, find a way out of that chain in the next 24 oh, hours see. before the cement is set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's due to the dampness. <laughs> and he's like, oh god, oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh yeah, just step out of this chain because it is only wrapped around my waist. Exactly. And as he just said, it's quite damp in there, so it's gonna take longer than 24 hours for that. Cement to set. Oh yeah, that was a very, very angry resting piece. <laughs> oh, look, I finally come out of that uh, paint thinner induced coma. Yeah, hey. You know, by now you've probably got permanent brain damage. Oh, I think, yeah, that to begin with. Yeah. Okay, just goes around huffing paint thinner. Fix the damn walls! Paint them, please! And or at least got plaster more, them. He's got more important things to do. No, no he doesn't. I says, I says he doesn't, therefore he doesn't. Up, oh, really? 
You can I have determined someone up in to place bed. my dear niece in the lower vault. The ground outside is far too marshy this time of year for a proper burial. Please light the way. And do we know why that is, kids? Because if the ground is too damp, there's air inside the coffin, the coffin will come to the surface. Oh, really? Yep. That's awesome. Yep. That's I so made cool. my descent to the cellar. My companions with their dreadful burden just steps behind. We penetrated into we the dark. I want to try that now. The lantern yeah. pushing back <laughs> the darkness. What I could see in the black floating should, before my eyes. Bury people anyway. My eyes themselves felt as though they had turned to ice and now sat chill and spiked in my heavy skull. These harrowing reflections haunted me until we reached the lower vault. We entered carefully and placed the coffin on two spindly wooden trestles set there for such a purpose. Our labor was without ceremony. Come now. Peace be with her. I can't bear to leave her here. All alone in the dark. Dear brother, do leave the lantern. Leave her a small source of light. We'll go back in the darkness. That'd be quiet. He's wearing tweed trousers. Thank you. The man's got Here no style. Here go. Here's the, uh, you know, hallucinating, like, inducing lamp. Enjoy. Ambers, seal the vault securely. Leave the key with me. Come, gentlemen. Yeah, let's just leave it so only he can come down here. Sicko. Oh, fuck. Ah, paint thinner. Ah, drugs. Give me the drugs. Give me the drugs. Drugs are bad, I'm coming. And we're back in the dream world again. Yay. I want to find drugs that actually make everything turn negative. Negatone. Most of the pictures, which is a good sign. <laughs> Call and creepiness. Drawing pictures of his dead niece, but she's alive. Don't ruin it. <laughs> painting brick walls. God. Damn it! How about instead of painting brick walls, paint your brick walls? That's the same thing. I said the same thing, but meant two different things. Indeed. I was trying to make a decision on which one to do next, so I decided to do the, uh, the freakier one, and not necessarily my favourite one. Yeah, okay. it's safe to tell tale half to last because it's sweet. Mm hmm? The victimization. Yep. Because it's cool. Uh -huh, stupid victims. Got a shiv. I'm pretty sure it's a letter opener. <laughs> That was left over from his jam sandwich. Right, 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 she right, falls right, into right, another right, of her right, trances. Right, she emerges right, ever busted. more stricken and ever less the happy cousin I remember from. <laughs> this is the, the hunt the flag mode. Oh. We're just stuck in the same room. Yes. Find the right thing to click on. Yeah, before it changes. Ugh.
Yeesh. She's At almost next. gone. Young man, our lineage has stood on the way for centuries. <laughs> Get some fried chicken. Mm, chicken. Oh, I really want KFC now. Damn it! It's the Colonel in. <laughs> What time is that to tell you? He's dead. I will muse for long unwearied hours with my attention riveted to some frivolous <coughs> device in the margin of a book. Poetry! Yay! There you go, people. That's the payoff. Happy National Poetry Day. Berenice. I have a poem. Oh dear. God. Wanna hear it? No, but I've got a feeling you're gonna tell us anyway. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Pretty sure that's not a poem, that's a rhyme. Close enough. Ever less the <laughs> remember from the youth. Then what makes it a poem then? I don't know, I'm not a poet. I am much concerned gotcha. about Berenice. Because mostly it's the rhymes She's and the like sentences library. after it, but then there's the she unrhyming she one. Wants to tell you. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what the rules are. I am much concerned about Berenice. Oh, that picture looks familiar. Yeah, it does. And look, while we were gone, someone filled in the next paragraph of our letter for us. Thank you. Well, occupy all my waking when you left, it was two lines. Yeah. Yours. Uh, yeah. Oh my. There's a ghost. Thank you, ghost dad. <laughs> someone call the Ghostbusters. Come in. Cousin. Go. You never leave this room. Crazy Come with bitch. me for a stroll. Never leave this room because you're outside it, you crazy bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking Egypt. mentalist. Look after Berenice. Ah! Uh, oh God! Are you all right? I am fine. I yes. was all right. Look <laughs> She has loved me long. Her eyes this is my special alone time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting company. Her eyes have grown lusterless, even in the days of her God sake. Yet she has loved me long. Berenice, it occurs to me that perhaps we should marry. Ah, uh, jeez. Yes, I believe we should. Perhaps come November. I'm... I'm quite forgotten. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, she totally would have smacked her head on Help the door knob then. And then we would have all been Berenice done with it. Fallen. No, I'm... <coughs> No, you're Sorry. supposed to be dead. Die. Cool, miss, you've taken another of your turns. Give it time. <laughs> another day of flag hunting. Oh, look, Satan. Which one? That wasn't Satan. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. I'm sure it was. It was the Never red dude the with horns and he was holding a severed head. That wasn't Satan. Look right there. Uh, uh, see? That looks like Satan. Oh, alright, fair enough. Um, That's the Greek myth of the guy that killed... Uh, a steady Jesus. decline. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure he wasn't red. And they had horns. Probably didn't. I think they've... Perhaps no, we should marry. In, uh, some times. I haven't seen that yet. I've heard it's quite good, actually. Well. No, no, Rathatimes. Rathatimes. It was Clash of Times. It was a remake of Clash of Times. Yeah, the new, the new one. Yeah, I still prefer the original. I oh, yeah. That and Jason and the Argonauts. I don't even know why I try and find it on your elusive <laughs> wall. So, oh yeah, it's up there. Oh yeah, I'm it's totally gonna find it. It's up there with the other 7,000 DVDs. Yeah. Look after Berenice. It's I'm expensive. I've DVDs in a while. Might have to. Movie Mania. Yeah. yeah. She has loved me a lot. They're getting free advertisement from us. Yeah, we totally need to come up with some sort of sponsorship. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, dudes. Dudes, give us free games. <laughs> free games, we're always sprouting your shit all over the internet. Yeah. The day of our nuptials approaches. Yeah, flag. Approaches. Found it. And I believe the guy next to him is Plato? Look, she's dancing. <laughs> That's funny. I hit a flag and then I um, go for it and mm -hmm. I can't get it to come back. Oops. <laughs> so this takes a while. <laughs> so I see we eat fudge. Bailey's fudge? Oh no, I'm not a fan of fudge. More for me. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Don't know why. I really never like fudge. It's really fudgy. <laughs> Indeed. I like toffee. I love toffee. <coughs> Apart from Werther's originals. They don't like Werther's. No, they're disgusting. Werther's are raw one. And I'm not gonna say what some people call them because <laughs> that's really bad. Yeah, let's it not go there, shall we? Yeah, it's kind of a phone shop as well. What's that? Phone shop. What about? What, uh, you know, the Welsh guy on phone shop, what he calls Werbers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, still not saying it. <laughs> Come back, flag. Come back. <coughs> you see, all this stuff about the iPhone 6 Plus being able to bend. I imagine that'd be quite helpful. Yeah, uh, it's kind of not supposed to. Depends but which way it bends, because if it bends the the outward, then the it can really contour to your face more, and you can make easier phone calls. Yeah, I mean that's true. It does bend that way. Um, and it doesn't like break the phone, but the reason why it's bending is because people put it in their back pockets. Oh, okay. It's like it's contouring to your arms. Yeah, pretty much. But do you put your phone in your back pocket? No, it goes in my back pocket. Yeah, same. So I less chance of actually getting damage because I try not to walk into things because if I'm hitting like my front pocket, there's a very big chance of hitting myself in the testicles. Yeah. But you know, your ass yeah. is a cushion. Not that I actually plan that at all on them having children or anything, but it is quite painful when I hit them. Mm. Not children, my testicles. <laughs> but I, I try and avoid... And look, he's writing in devil script. That looks like, um... Ah... Uh, the language from Skyrim. Dragons? Yeah, yeah it's dragon writing. <coughs> that, that's totally Satan. Not Satan. It looks like it. Damn it, what is his name? Bug me now. He's totally not the guy who killed Medusa though. Come in. Yes. He wasn't red, I was so low. I've got the book Dearest of Aegeus. Greek myths. The day oh, home. is it's a good book. Upon us. Oh god. Ugh. Jesus. Oh, look at those teeth. 
hard. They should not be in her mouth. <laughs> we couldn't agree more. Let's remove them. Yep. Yep. The screwdriver. One by one. Shit, where did she go? We can fill her empty eye holes with her teeth. You ready to start seeing him freak out? Teeth. Oh god. Teeth. We're probably not going to be able to hear this because of how... You know, look, 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 look! Oh, teeth! Oh! Uh, oh, make it stop. Oh! Uh. But in the background there is someone saying teeth constantly. Why? What? Uh. And every now and again you're going to see teeth flash on the screen. Oh, oh god. <laughs> my god, it's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got these scars. He's spreading, he's spreading one of his many serums. <laughs> the Joker gas. There's, there's Joker gas, so there's, there's been loads which have come up with made people smile. Oh, Aegeus, look after Berenice. It is only by way of the teeth that I can restore myself to peace and to reason. Yeah, he just said it's only the way of the teeth that can uh, restore me to a uh, reason. This guy's got some problems. Okay, crazy person. And they're all teeth related. I think he's the next right, representative fine. for we, Colgate. We'll go that way since I can't go anywhere else. <coughs> we'll investigate the crying and the screaming. What? Some of us are trying to imagine teeth in there. We just looked in on Berenice. She's... I, I can scarce say it. She, she is... No more. Oh my god, you people really can't break bad news, can you? It's like the last guy. <laughs> she is... dead. Oh, <laughs> cheers. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Wow. To be fair, if I was to be, if I was to be told that someone had died, I don't want people mincing about. So, uh, after a long night, blah 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 blah, blah she passed. Like, no, she's fucking dead. She's dead. She's dead. My <laughs> gracious apologies, she's dead. It was my car that caused it, sorry. <laughs> If you want, you can uh, take some of the hair and gristle still in my grill <laughs> and keep it for later for cloning purposes. <laughs> but that's up to you. <laughs> if you don't take it, I'm just going to scrape it off and feed it to my dogs. <laughs> Why do you have to take everything so much further? What? Just <laughs> <laughs> a bit of hair and gristle. It's not like I had said that, like, you know, her breast came off and got stuck to my Mercedes badge. Anywho. Boob car. <laughs> my lord, a cry in the dim light. We went in search of my lord. Her grave disturbed, sir. Her enshrouded body. Bloody, yet still breathing. Oh, yes. Alive. Oh, sir, look. Oh. 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 Uh. Where did that come from? That's oh, strawberry sir. jam. What's this? I was eating a jill sandwich. What? What have you seen? Ah. That's not mine. I don't even know where that shovel came from. Never even owned one before. What's a shovel? <laughs> shit, shit. Um, let's find something that, uh, you know, alibi. Let's find an alibi. Act nonchalantly. Um, oh. 
Oh fuck. Wow. This isn't what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> They're just sugar frosted Rice Krispies. <laughs> I swear. Now get me some milk so I can eat them. Anywho. <laughs> that was Berenice. Next story. Before we go start raving bonkers. Oh, I think we were ready to... Yeah, that's and true. As you can tell, he was the one that went to her grave and beheaded her. Yeah. With a shovel. Nice. Yep. Nice. Oh, Uncle Edwin. And some pliers, because you know, why not? I imagine think he got the teeth out. The other guy. Pliers, I imagine that's why he was drawing there. Yeah. Pliers. It's all connected. Actually, if you look by the, um, you know, when she was actually like in the grave, it just looked like he smashed her in the face with a shovel. Yeah, that probably knocked the teeth out. Should be able to get the other uh, story. The piano was connection to the previous story as well. Indeed. Piano keys. She's alive. Yeah, elephant teeth. I know it. Um, your room's a little bit fucked. <laughs> I can feel her blood flowing through the house. I hear her whisper. I hear her very heart. Okay. Right. Dear brother, have you been taking your pills that you're supposed to? <laughs> I've pounded at the door to her vault. I swear, I hear rustling within. Do you understand? She lives. Was this late at night, and where was Uncle Edwin? <laughs> Ew. I know. Grim. Hey, it's pretty. <laughs> Uncle Edwin, where are you? Ah! Your brother has lost his sanity. Not even Amber. Totally should have got speaking. Gary Newman to do the sound. I understand you carry messages between Elise and him. Much more upbeat. Then come, carry one more. Even another Gary Newman song apart from Cars. No. <laughs> <laughs> Back me into corner. I'm not doing that again. Yeah. You're already, you know, pretty much, you know, one on that one. Try and make me and make a fool out of myself. Nope, pretty sure you did that in one of the previous episodes. Yep, yeah, I'm not doing that again. I refuse. Henry is of an exceedingly sensitive nature. When such a man succumbs to delusions, it's best to bring him slowly around by way Does of that same... Does he ever not wear a dressing gown? He believes yeah. Elise to be alive. Let him receive a letter from her. Deliver him okay. this message. Let him believe it to be from Elise. Let him read by her own hand that she is no more. Okay. Right. Uh, not going to read this at all. Oh, oh wow, um, yeah. Okay, that doesn't say anything at all about, um, you know, her not being alive anymore. That says, come and meet me at the cliffs. <coughs> right. Uncle Edwin, I'm almost you must up to help no me. good here. Scoundrel. But it's okay, because if, you know, I don't give it to him, the game won't progress. <laughs> it's 
said, fuck it, he had a stupid moustache in anyway. After dusk? It's after dusk now! Wait. I'm late. Wait, oh, I'm oh, late. Wait a bit, I forgot to tell you, it's a trap. There's a trap! I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. I tried to follow, but my haste made me clumsy. Finally, I emerged into the night. See ya later. Elise! Elise, it's Henry! Elise, are you there? In, in the distance, I could hear my brother crying out. Elise, are you there? Elise! Elise, answer me! In the bright moonlight, I could see the rise and swell of the ocean from afar. The wave collected itself into a vast wall of destruction, then, then seemed to hesitate. Poised in the moonlight. Then, with a terrific crash, the full force of the sea met the cliff face, shattering the calm of the night, surely forever. Well, that escalated. Miraculously, Henry had escaped. He lay panting on the cliff edge, then rose to survey the scene of his near demise. As I watched him, I saw a second silhouette emerge from the brush behind. Henry turned and pronounced the name I dared not utter. Elise? But it was not Elise. Looks like Gollum. Wait a minute, this is ending a lot like Lord of the Rings as well. Yeah. Oh well. Fighting over who's gonna fuck a corpse, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> See, reading between but the lines. Oh, certainty. Because we'd seen a Your mustache. Your brother was driven to insanity by breathing paint fumes from a lantern. Oh, you geez. carried messages to them. Remember earlier when you I said that I knew she filled with these fucking things with like you know. You tried to save <laughs> him. <laughs> Feeling a little bit funny you get older. That old man needs to moisturize. Now we get to see one of the, uh, the other little stories. Yay! It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived, whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee, with the love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in the kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we. So was written the first but rap many song. far wiser than Just chilling we. and killing. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea could ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee.
For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In the sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. Art is a strange thing. Yeah. But fuck it, let's go and kill an old man. Sweet. Because reasons. Anything else happening in the world? Um. There's the I'm just witnessing a video of a tapia having sex. Okay. Yeah, that's just popped up on my timeline, that's weird. <laughs> Never again. I saw a gameplay video of uh, Alien Isolation. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, True. It's nervous. Looks like very, outlast in space, very if I'm honest. Very yep. nervous I had been and uh, Which is good. But why do people say that I am mad? Except there's more things you can do to, you know, avoid the alien. But the alien thinks and learns as well, which is terrifying. It's like if you use, like, uh, the flares too much, it will learn not to go towards a flare. Or the sound grenade, it will learn not to go towards it if you use it too much. Which is scary. I wonder if that could be used against it, and then you just drop a flare at your feet, and it never will come near. Maybe. See? Or it could result in a head bite. <laughs> it could do. Well, let's do some art, everybody. Whoa. What is on our killer's mind? Uh, two space. He doesn't like the eye. I could totally play Pictionary right now. <laughs> okay, he is. Ah. Look at the eye. Uh, you look as though you could eye. use some hot soup. Thank you, that looks yummy. I'm going to eat some right now. <laughs> but, but, but I don't have a spoon. What is it? Touching the eye. Is it about him that makes my blood run cold? <gasps> oh, it's grim. The eye. I can totally see where he's coming from now. Yeah, exactly. You don't I want, want to take that eye. It's cooling. It's grown late. Good night, young man. Good night. I'm gonna watch you while you sleep. <laughs> no, the guy doesn't help himself. He doesn't like the eye, but yet goes and watches him. Y yeah. Quite clear, he's batshit crazy. That's not an excuse. Midnight. <sighs> Spooky. Shit always goes down at midnight. I think shit always goes down at two People minutes. People fancy me mad. How's it? Mad men know really? nothing. Oh god, you're saying 
proceed. An Iron Maiden song two minutes to midnight. Ow. Caution. I've, I've just never been into Iron Maiden. Like a couple of their songs, but you know. I'm, I'm more of a Linkin Park kind of guy. Just at twelve. They had a good album. Their new one's good. The yeah, animation was good. Hyper Fury is good. Hyper Fury is amazing. That's free. That's, that's free. Didn't mind minutes to midnight. It's alright. Fine, he's sleeping. I'll come back later. <coughs> it's hilarious, like. The angle of that shelf is like above him, so his arm was like ridiculously high up, <laughs> and his forearm could have a funny angle that like dislocated his arm. Ow. It's daytime outside. I don't need more. Ah! Night. <laughs> Good night. Hey mate, where, where's my dinner? <coughs> Fuck, I'm gonna eat ears. Fucking dickhead. Ooh, saw. So. <laughs> it's a wood saw. Okay, it would do perfectly well at dismembering old men. Precisely. Here I am, opening the door little by little, and he doesn't even dream of my secret deeds or thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, look at the angle of his hand, either we're like Gigantor. <laughs> Should I go back? Or his Who's head's there? in his chest. Uh, maybe. Oh. I know that groan. It's the low sound that rises from the bottom of the soul when charged with mortal terror. Many at midnight, it wails up from my own bosom, deepening with its dreadful echo the terrors that distract me. Yes, I know it well. Oh. See you later, mate. Poor old man. <laughs> He's been lying awake ever since that first noise, his fears growing, trying to fancy them causeless, but he cannot, because death, stalking with his black shadow before him, has enveloped the victim. <gasps> the eyes. What's that? Ah. Stroking the eye. Yeah, worth it. He must be terrified. Getting the Russians on that thing. His heart will burst. Surely it will burst. I didn't want to live anyway. Pretty sure he, he wanted me to cut them up with a saw. Oh yeah, didn't everyone? Pretty sure it was in his uh, last minute testament. Yep. 
Let my love just oh, knock the soul. <coughs> and feed me to the cat. Meow. <coughs> but hey, we got some more feedback. And someone wants to see us play uh, Silent Hills. Yes, they do. So, you know, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna do it. <laughs> what about you play? Like. I'll, I'll, I'll shit my pants either way. Yeah, that's true. No. What shall I do with the body? I try and do that um Saturday before uh, Outlast. Yeah. Uh, Bloody no, hell. But in silence. Oh god! It's not, not heavy enough to stand on. I wasn't standing on it, I was just resting my foot on it. I nearly fell out of the chair as well. Oh man, oh shit, sorry, I killed him. Whoops! My bad! <laughs> Nowhere near where you're supposed to put it. No. There, all deposited neatly between the scatlings. Yeah, you that's gonna smell so in a few no days. human eye, not even his, could detect anything I wrong. Crime. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to wash out. I would have no make pancakes. I would have gotten away with it too All if it wasn't for me being a fucking mentalist. A tub. <laughs> oh god, I hope Scooby Doo doesn't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't mind Scooby Doo turning up, it's just that little shit scrappy. Yeah. He's the dick. Oh fuck, it's the fuzz. Shit. Sorry the to disturb you, sir. But somebody or other heard a scream or some such. Called us up. We've got to yeah, check these things that. out. Uh, what are you doing awake at this time? You say I take it too far. <laughs> hey, I just thought one of your jokes there. You come can't in, complain please, about that. You did. I know. Well, what about the scream? Strangle wanking's my thing. Oh. <laughs> 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 what do you know about anything like that? That and circle jerks. <laughs> oh, that was I, yeah, you can use your imagination for that one. In a nightmare. I'm given to nervous fits. A gentle man like yourself? Well, what about the old man that lives here? Finlay! Gone to the country. Lucky man. Gone to live on a farm. <laughs> Is he like we'd be looking at the Cayman Islands. Of course, certainly, search. S search anywhere except the floorboards in the main bedroom. <coughs> it's off limits. That short fat one has Check a bit over of a there. The stove as well. Yes, sir. Sir. Never mind that. Stay out of there. See, how weird is that? <laughs> I don't want you to go in into your own bedroom. There can be anything in there. You'll want she especially to look into the old man's room. Yes, look particularly here. In here, boys. Watch it. Sorry. Sit, sit. All of you, do. Don't mind if I do. Fucking Scarpa. It's a funny spelling, eh? I like dead guy. It's been a long day. He keeps his treasure in that drawer there.
Oh, it's a lovely night, though. The stars are out in all their glory. It hasn't been disturbed, sir. Well, everything seems to be in order. Don't go. No, oh, I would just stay. Stay, stay a moment. He's Irish. Rest your drinking. From your various fatigues. Oh, my head. And what is that annoying ringing in my ears? Will they never be gone? And that ringing... But wait. It's not in my ears, it's... Oh my God! Can't they hear it? No. I'm safe. If only they'll leave. They must hear it. They must... And still, how is it they don't hear it? They hear, they suspect, they know, they're mocking me, villains, cruel villains. Crazy man. I admit it. I confess. Tear up the planks. Here. Here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. Dun dun dun. Fucking idiot. Could have gotten away with it. Yep. Well, until it started smelling. No pestilence oh. has ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood is its avatar and its seal. The redness and the horror of blood. For me, the celebration has just begun. Alive. Uh. Hi, Elise. How are you? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Something bad's happened to you. The full import of the lantern, the madness inducing fumes, Henry's premonitions. All these came clear to me at once. And I could feel and hear a great rending. As of a mirror breaking, roll throughout the house, growing in volume and strength. And even as I looked on, the house around us, the vault, the lantern, Elise, her bloody eyes, all shattered. Shattered into a hundred thousand shards, shattered as did the dark depths of my very soul. Okay. It's crash and it's, error. And it's crashed. <laughs> you got a haunted game. Yep. <laughs> that, hey, we just finished the game. Yeah. Until next time, people, have a good one. Have fun.